Okay, I did a little digging around and I found it here. So here's the hole. Now you can take your probe and you can run your probe in there and figure out which way the tunnel's going. And then once you do that, I mean, without a doubt, and I'm running into a wall there, so he, he went back this way, which coincides with another mound over there a little bit. So I'm gonna come back here, get away from the mound as much as I can. And there, I think I just landed in his deal. Sometimes I'll even take this and see if I can hear it tinking on that. I think I might be off just a little bit. I might be off to one side just a little. My angle here, I'm pretty dang close. Yesterday on one, I, I hit my bar and knew I was right. But I'm, I'm in the tunnel, I'm pretty positive. Looks like I could maybe move over a half inch. Somewhere in there. And then I start wallowing with this one. As I said, I broke my wallowing tool. It just, the tool that comes with it is this probe when you buy a set. You get this probe and then you get a wallowing tool. I broke my wallowing tool, but I have this whole thing around. Started me a hole there. Now I'm gonna push this down. There, I'm in the tunnel. I'm gonna use this to wallow a little more so that I can get my hoe handle in there. This is Redneck Gopher Catching 101 right here. I, the wallowing tool they send is fine if you take your time and the ground's not too hard, but if you don't, it'll snap. It's a thin wall PVC. But I'll stick that down in there now and I'll work it around. And you don't want to be here. You don't want to be up in that because most of the time when they come there, they're pushing dirt and they're going to push dirt right into your trap. But you do want to make sure you try to get in the, in the tunnel. Uh oh, about to snap my hoe. It's pretty old. Then you just take your trap. Here's what you got that does the killing or the trapping. And I'm sorry, I can't see the camera, but sometimes these get too skinny and I'll put it out and then I'll kind of push down on it just to give it a little more. And what I try to do is, we know he's not between there and there. So I'm gonna put this wire that way so that he's got a wide opening to come into, but I don't even set them usually. If you need to unset them, that'll do it. Shove it down in there, push down on this. Don't get your fingers in here. Push down on this, pull up on this set then i take and cover this back up so that he doesn't come pushing dirt to fill that hole and i'll even shove a little dirt around my trap and now we wait